Hey, Mount Juliet Christian Academy band students. This is Miss Davis here helping you out with your page 13 in your essential elements book, number 55, When the Saints Go Marching In. You can see this is the trumpet part. I want you to practice some warm ups with me right now. This is to help you learn your part for number 55, since we had only just started this in early March when, or end of February when we finished school. Um, so, here we go. Give me 20. That was 20 buzzes. If you did them fast with me, then you got 20 buzzes. Your lips are starting to warm up. I'm going to take my mouthpiece out, hold it with my fingertips so that I'm not using too much pressure. And let's do some lip sirens. Do some now with me and some on your own. exercise also is to play whatever song you're going to be doing just on your mouthpiece. I'm going to put my mouthpiece in, find my C because that's my first note for when the saints go marching in, number 55. So I have it in my ear what my C sounds like, so I'm going to play my part on my mouthpiece. <laughs> It's okay if it doesn't sound exactly like the notes, but you want to hear the contour, the shape of the notes going up and down. So now that my lips are good and warmed up, I'm going to play just the trumpet part, and then I'm gonna go back and with a backing track, you're gonna hear the other parts. I'm gonna play the part with a metronome and a snare drum, so you can hear how the snare drum part fits into the trumpet part. Here's the trumpet part only. It only uses five notes, folks, so we wanna make sure that we are ready for those five notes, C, D, E, F, and G. Play those notes with me now. Make sure that you're keeping your corners tight and lots of air coming from down low in your belly so that you're pressing that air out. Take a good breath from the beginning, play it with me. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Since I've been playing for a little while, we always want to make sure that we empty out our spit valve there at the end of our trumpet so that we don't get a gurgle as we play, okay? So I'm going to go back this time and play it with the recording of the snare drum so that you can hear all those parts together. I'm nice and emptied out. 
Here we go. Remember, you have a measure of rest at the beginning, and then you come in on beat two. So you'll hear the snare drum playing on beat one. Here's the metronome click. One, two, three, measure one. My lips are already swelling. I'm gonna have to go back and edit that. <laughs> a good recording then go ahead and send that one in if it was not a good recording then I want you to go back to that section and practice it again until you feel very comfortable and then play it with that backing track can't wait to hear your recordings guys sing strong